What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a slightly different video than usual. Lately, I've been getting asked a lot about the setup and the mods that I've done to the Land Cruiser. Not only from viewers like you, but I recently got pulled over by CHP just because he wanted to know a little bit more about my setup. Before we get started, if you're enjoying this video or if you want to see more videos like it, don't forget to like and subscribe. So here's a little bit about my 1999 Toyota Land Cruiser. What better place to do this than the mall? So I think the easiest thing to do is to start from top to bottom. Now first off, we have the Yakima roof rack. This is the Mega Warrior with the middle extension piece right here. So it extends it for a little bit of length. Um, as you can see, it's almost the same length as the Land Cruiser. Next up top, we have the KC Daylighters. These guys help me out whenever I'm off-roading in the dark or there's not enough light. They're really bright. And I believe these are the driving beams. Now over on the other side of the roof rack, we have the ARB awning. This guy gives us a little bit of shelter when we go on our off-roading trips or just shelter whenever in a parking lot. Uh, this is the 2500 series. This is the biggest one ARB sells. Uh, this one comes in handy very often. So all you viewers with a keen eye are probably wondering what this guy is. Well, let me show you. This is actually a mount for our little water port. This guy holds about five, I think it's five gallons of water. Little pump. Turn on the little lever. And then, portable showers. Since we're in the back, let's take a look at this guy, which is our ARB fridge and freezer. Um, right now it's empty, but uh, we use this guy to keep our drinks cold, keep our salads cold or whatever when we go on a trail. You can set this guy up to whatever temperature you want. It basically just plugs into the cigarette lighter right here. And uh, this cigarette lighter, we wired uh, specifically for this guy. So it is a constant power. Back here, we've still got the factory tow hitch, which we use for towing when we take the race car out. And underneath, you'll see the spare tire in the stock location. Now this one is not technically the same size as the tires on the vehicle, but oh well. Back to the front, we have our CB radio antenna. This one I believe is the Fire Stick 2 with the adjustable tip. And this guy basically lets us communicate with uh, friends and family that are on the trail with us. I also have this little mount. Um, it just bolts up into one of the fender bolts so there's no drilling. Uh, on your car or anything like that. I forget exactly which brand this is, but I'll make sure to put a link in the description. So on the interior, you'll notice I have this cool wood grain steering wheel, which I got to replace the old ratty factory one where the leather was torn and it was just kind of sticky regardless how you cleaned it. This guy I got off of eBay somewhere um, and it matches the wood grain interior pretty well. I believe this is real, I'm not 100% sure, but it's kind of peeling, it doesn't look that nice. The steering wheel looks a lot nicer. Over here on this side of the center console, we have our little CB radio that uh, is wired in whenever we need to talk to anybody on the trails, uh, anywhere, I think it's up to 40 channels. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. This one we chose the Cobra because there is no box to mount. Everything is inside the handset. So for a vehicle like the 100 series, where the space is very limited behind the dash, this would be your choice. Up here, we have the factory radio, as you can see, but we do have a Bluetooth connectivity through this guy. As you guys probably seen in uh, my BMW video, I also did the same thing with this guy pretty much. There's a little thing that plugs into the back of this guy. Uh, to where the CD changer plugs in and uh, basically lets you stream Bluetooth music uh, from your phone, from your iPod, whatever. Really handy. Now on the side panel here, you'll notice I have a couple different switches. Uh, this being the most important, obviously, is the diff lock switch for the rear diff. Uh, that one came factory, so some of you guys might have it, some of you might not. 
This guy is the fog light switch, which controls the daylighters that I hooked up. This guy is actually out of uh, specific gear Tacoma and it fits perfectly in this slot. So um, I'll have a link in the description for that uh, if you guys are interested to getting a, a light switch that looks uh, basically stock. Then I have the switch for the ARB air compressor underneath the hood and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. This guy uh, worked out really well, fits in here no problem. Under the hood, pretty much stock. It's the 4.7 V8 from uh, Toyota. I have not modified that at all. Um, I do have the battery uh, from Costco. Make sure you get a battery from Costco if your uh, battery is about to die. They have the best warranty on the interstate batteries. And over here, of course, we have the ARB air compressor, which is all hooked up and ready to go. So whenever I need air, I'm going to plug my air hose into the quick release and we're good to go. Holding the ARB air compressor is the SLE off-road mounting kit. This guy doubles up as a second battery tray too, so this area would be for the second battery, but I don't have any plans to put that thing in there yet. I have something else in mind. Um, you guys will see in a future video. And now for the good stuff. As you can see, these tires are bigger than stock. These are the BF Goodrich KO2s, all terrains. The, they are size 315, 75, 16 as you can see right here and they do fit on the factory wheels i do like these wheels they are forged they are probably better than any aftermarket wheel that you can buy right now to clear the big tire setup i have added a 2.5 inch lift to the land cruiser the lift is made by old man emu and it includes shocks for the front and the rear springs for the rear and torsion bars for the front in the front, we also have the aftermarket control arms just to correct some of the uh, suspension geometry caused by the lift. These guys, I believe, are made by Nitro. Uh, I will double check and have the part listed in the description below. Now to clear these big tires from rubbing the insides of the wheel well, I had to put in an inch and a half spacer all around. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but there's the spacer right there. Inch and a half, uh, seems like it's a good deal. I played with them a little bit. Two inches was a little too much. It uh, stuck out of the body a little bit too much. But as you can see, inch and a half looks just about right and it clears everything. The only thing that I had to trim was this little plastic piece right here. I don't know if you can see that, just right there. Bust out a pair of scissors and you'll be able to trim that no problems. Does it still rub? Yes, it rubs a little bit if you're going like full speed over a speed bump or something like that. But uh, all in all, on the trails, it's pretty good. No issues there. Oh, and mine came with gold emblems. I like these gold emblems. I don't care what you guys say. These are awesome. All right, guys, that's basically it. Those are the mods and uh, specs on my Land Cruiser. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or would like to know more about it, please go ahead and check out my other videos or leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.